Government restrictions on low-risk nicotine products like e-cigarettes claim to protect youth, but eliminate safer alternatives to smoking for disadvantaged adults. Sensible health policy can and should balance the needs of both youth and adults. Here's why. While cigarette smoking in America is at historic lows, rates of smoking remain high in certain disadvantaged groups like low-income earners, people with mental health issues, and members of the LGBT community. For these adults, e-cigarettes offer a vastly lower risk way to consume nicotine. But critics say keeping e-cigarettes on shelves has created a youth vaping epidemic. The data suggests otherwise. Research shows that e-cigarette use by adolescents is actually rare and poses only marginal health risks. If protecting public health is really the goal, we should approach nicotine vaping in a similar way to other adult substances. Providing public guidance and discouraging youth uptake while preserving legal access to safer nicotine products for the millions of adults who smoke now and in the future. Not a policy paper, just a thought.